We're back with another podcast. Oh my god, the consistency is a joke. Yeah, yeah. Um, diving straight in. The rebrand is not done yet. Why? I want professional pictures get done. So it looks a bit more professional, you know? Because I really want to take this podcast to new heights. That's going to be helped by you subscribing and liking on YouTube, giving it a five star rating on Spotify and Apple, and just spreading the love. Share this shit. Player! Right, that's the intro done, whatever. Today, we're gonna go into something that has been winding me up a little bit, a little bit this week. And that is around the information that you absorb and how that is gonna structure your life. And I'm gonna start with a little fitness analogy because you know, witness the fitness, but if you was to eat, and I hate saying this, shit food all of the time, and I'm talking bare pizzas, bare burgers, loads of chips, every single day, every single meal, what do you think is gonna happen to your body? If you're overeating on that, or any food really, but if you're overeating on food, you are gonna turn into a fat F-U-C-K, yeah? Get to know that. So, what do you think will happen to your brain if you constantly consume S-H-I-T information? I don't know why I'm spelling out swear words, but someone come at me and said, why do all PTs have to swear? I don't think it's generalized. I don't swear because I'm a PT. I swear because things piss me off. Oh. So, the information that you absorb on a daily basis is gonna structure, structure, structure your mindset. So whether that be, one thing, one thing that fucking pisses me off more than anything is the news. Bad news is good news, yeah? The media, they're gonna make a mint from creating fear in people's minds. Tell me the last good news story you saw on any of the mainstream cha channels. I don't know where you're watching this or listening to this in the globe. That's it, Mr. Worldwide. But any channel, any news, never ever, there is constantly negative, negative, negative. And what do you think a constant negative impression on your life is gonna do? If all you do is watch news that is negative, what do you think's gonna happen? You are gonna be negative. You are gonna think the world is doom and gloom. If you're listening to things that are constantly, oh, this part of the world's in the shit, this part of the world's in the shit, this part of the world's in the shit, you're gonna think the whole world is, is shit. And it's gonna literally create the most doom and gloom atmosphere in your brain. So when you walk outside, you're gonna think, what, what's gonna happen that's bad to me today? What rainy day is gonna come next? No, cut that shite out. And it's easily done. For example, myself, Brexit was meant to be gloom and doom. Have I been affected by Brexit? No. There's been multiple huge things in this in the world that have happened and are going on right now that are, I'm not even going to lie, they're horrendous. They are horrendous. But if you worry about every single negative thing in the world, you are not God. You cannot change it. I'm not saying don't give shits. Definitely give shits, but give less shits about things that cannot affect your life. Because when you do that, you are gonna be this little or big, massive ball of stress and negativity that thinks everything is shit. No, it isn't. It's just the information that you consume on a daily basis. Like if you used to overeat on your calories every single day, you are consuming negativity. With your calories, you're gonna get fat. That is the physical effects of overeating on your calories consuming negative information, you're not gonna be able to see that your brain is this absolute gloomy piece of shite. No, you're not, because that is in your head. But if you think about it, consume too much food, put on fat. Consume too much negative shit, become negative. 
it is logic and you need to understand that the effects that this is going to have on your life like for me now no news ever 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 turn that shit off in a heartbeat you want to listen to stuff that's going to make you think make your you understand that anything is possible like if you're going to feed yourself information why not make that the most positive that you can ever because you're going to see life in a better light like since i started listening to self development books and podcasts that are really like groundbreaking in the sense of you are unlimited do you know what i've started doing i've started believing it because that is what i consume and again if i under eat if i eat in a calorie deficit not under eat never under eat but if i'm eating in a calorie deficit and i'm training well and my body that is going to have a positive effect on the way I look and feel. Likewise, if you consume great information, not shit that is going to put exactly that in your pants, then you're going to become a more positive person. You're not going to think every single step you take down the street could be at the end of life. No, you're going to see the positive in more situations. You're going to, rather than thinking, oh, that's too risky to do this, or I'm scared of doing this, you're gonna think, what is the worst that can happen? And how do I know this? Because I am that person. I am that person. I used to consume loads of boring shite. And I say boring, like it was facts about the world. Yes, okay, you wanna stay up to date on current affairs. Who gives a shit? Like what's more important? Staying up to date on current affairs or having a positive mental health? because one is gonna affect you right now. The other one, it might never affect you. And as I say, it is like news stories, it's like a conveyor belt. One that I always use is Ebola. That was around for about a month. Then it was like the news was like, no, we're bored of this. What, you think Ebola went away in a month? No, it just weren't scaring enough people. So then it was the next news story, boom. Let's force that negativity on people so they just think life is shit they're scared to do anything and they just stay in this comfort zone because they're too scared of doing anything with their life because of the negativity that they consume honestly you need to be so careful you can't see into your head you can't see that your brain's getting fatty or whatever yeah Whereas if you start overeating, you're going to be able to see that. But I promise you now, the information that you consume on a daily basis will dictate your mood. Whether you see that or not, and I'm not saying, oh, you're constantly thinking about the bad news stories. No, I'm not. What I am saying is, it is going to, if you, if you, if you surround yourself with loads of negativity, the norm for you is negative. If you surround yourself with positivity, you're going to be a more positive person. You know the saying, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with? Well, the five people you spend the most time with could be someone that runs a podcast. Hello? It could be someone, an, an author or a book or whatever. But if you are spending your time consuming shit information, negative information, you are going to be a grumpy fuck. And that's not your fault. Well, it is, because that's the information you're choosing to consume, but you're not aware of it. So, top tip of the day, stay away from news channels because they are honestly the biggest waste of time. Tell me the last time a news story affected your life directly. You can't, you can't. And maybe, or maybe I've been lucky and I'm just literally moving around the streets like a, I don't know, just avoiding absolutely everything. But you worry about what is going on in your life. You make your mental health a priority. You keep positive information flowing into you. And I promise you, you're gonna be a happier person, but consume too much shite. You're either gonna get fat if that's food, or you're gonna be a negative person. Top tip of the week. And also, that's, that's a just, that's, I've just spat that out real quick, as you can see, agitated. But 
I reached 50 episodes on, uh, we're moving on, sorry I should have declared that. I reached 50 episodes the other day on season two of the podcast. Don't know if, how long you've been listening to this, but season one, that is, I think it's four episodes that documents basically when I realised that I wanted to commit suicide, how I realised it, how I got through it, and where I am now. First four episodes. Then season two started, but a but but, I'm 50 episodes deep. That's one episode a week. That's almost a year, bro. This is gonna be 51, so we're basically a year of season two. Madness, absolute madness. Consistency is the key. And finally, there's season three, which is with people that really inspire me. Um, I would like to do more of them. And the only way I can do that is if you like, subscribe, and give it decent ratings. Because the higher it's rated, the more people see it, the more people get helped, and the more guests are gonna think, num say, let me see what this guy has to say. And obviously, I can spit bars for days. So, yes, please. But yeah, proud moment for me, almost a year in the books. I think I love doing this podcast. It really helps me as much as I hope it helps you, but it gets my thoughts out of my head. I feel a lot more relaxed about people that watch the news now. They're still in the wrong, but I feel relaxed about it. Um, and yeah, so gonna continue to spit bars like this, but here's to the next 50 episodes, you know. Um, Thanks for watching, if you are. Thanks for listening, if you are. Um, much love, and I will catch you next week. Don't worry about that.